So, and some of us were talking about this before, when I grew up, there were very few books with characters like me. Um, and there was actually only one book that I ever found when I was little that had a character who was half Chinese like I was. And that was so amazing and mind blowing. Um, and so when I got older, I thought, wow, I, I, I can't wait to go read more books like this now because I know they're out there and I started reading and there actually still weren't that many um, and so I began just sort of thinking about the books I wished I'd had um, and so that was sort of one side of why I wrote the other side is that I was a very very uh, you could say kindly kind of um, unusual sort of outgoing little <laughs> kid you could also say a little weird um, like Scylla in the first book if you've read it Scylla doesn't have hair until she's about four or five wow. come, on, come in I also didn't have hair till I was about four or five. I decorated my head with glitter glue. Um, <laughs> um, and so a lot of these stories are stories of things that I did when I was younger. And I'd always thought, oh, you know, wouldn't it be fun to write these up? And I started thinking about the kinds of stories I wanted to see and write, and Scylla sort of came together. Yeah.